really a sight that we've not seen on the channel for a little while. Yes, it's me and I'm back in Blackpool for another Blackpool video. Today, with the season restarting, it's time to get some little updates of places here in Blackpool. And starting off on this one is one that you may have heard of a few times. In fact, it's quite popular in Blackpool and um, home of a few things such as the one pound burger and a bingo that gives the prizes out for one wins. We're here to take a look at this year's updates. You ready to go and have a look? Let's go. Already a new sign there. Already seen changes in this place as we walked in. You might notice the shutters down. We're actually here the day before that he opens, but we've we've come for a bit of an exclusive walk around to show you exactly what is changing. The burgers haven't changed. They are still one pound, so you can still get your one pound burgers. And if you want cheese on him, that's fine. You can have an extra pound, uh, extra fifty p, should we say, for an extra. Burger. Let's have a look around here and see what other updates. Now, one of the updates we're gonna just slightly discuss is the, um, well, I'm gonna say CRAP box. Uh, we'll explain a little bit more about that in a moment, but let's show you around this arcade, firstly, of what is here and what may have changed. If you like your fruit machines, you'll like this arcade. They've got some old and new sort of machines here and some new entries to the arcade. This is new, and you may have recognized this one on one of uh, Beyond the Edges videos that were out not long ago it's pac-man and it's an absolute classic this even i remember that they do have some more modern machines there's like monopoly for example some old classics here and they go back some distance look at these these are really old these are like talking the 90s here and they go back even further if you like your one arm bandits as well but it's not just fruit machines that they've got in here of course they do have your tp pushers as well and they've got even a multiplayer machine there and speaking of fruit machines this is the big puller as it's called this is uh dubbed as the biggest in the uk look at the size of these wheels looks like someone's just won a jackpot on that as well but that's uh that's in here too you can have a go at that for 10p a go with a five pound return and next door it's not currently here he's not here at the moment but bingo's next door which is what i mentioned right at the start in the intro uh, being the one prize bingo and if you remember our last vlog we had Theo with us and he did this uh, I don't know if he scored very well though and there is a new pool table as well is it pool or snooker it's pool American pool American got, pool the only difference is we've got American pool balls in there oh and it's a blue cloth and of course, the man himself is here, Chris. How are you doing? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. How are you, young man? Yeah, great. We have, obviously, in case you haven't noticed, you may have just saw him, I don't know how I've edited. Rick is here filming right now. So make sure you check out his channel, which is Beyond the Edge, uh, which you can see in the description. But it's not about Rick, is it? <laughs> He's shaking his head. <laughs> it's about this place here. And you are opening, well, we're going to say today because this is when the video goes out, but it is this Saturday. It's this Saturday. We'll be open to, to well, Saturday which is tomorrow, but it'll be today when the film comes out. And we're just opening 12 till 4 at the moment. That'll be Saturday and Sunday. And it's only during weekends until, obviously, main season comes in. And the bingo? The bingo, exactly the same. The bingo starts at half past one and it's open till about five o'clock on Saturday and Sunday. Again, up until Easter. And as soon as we hit Easter, it's then seven days a week, as we do every year. Awesome, and uh, I reckon you're going to get some a lot of people come in. There's a lot of uh, publicity of this arcade here on YouTube. Um, obviously, things have changed recently, but a lot of people might be asking about how you are, Chris. Obviously, you had your operation earlier. I did, though, fully recovered now. As you know, I had a double bypass, a bit of a heart attack a couple of years, about a year and a half ago. Had a double bypass. I officially had the Ricks over there yawning because he's heard this so many times. Uh, I've had them all clear, so all back to the thing, and I've also lost. Three stone? Wow. Like a lean, mean love machine. You're, th you're thinner than me now. Uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> and then, do you know what I did for diets? Yeah, I ate exactly what I wanted to do, but I just don't eat bread. Oh, That's nice. it. I just stopped eating bread. And in a year, I lost three and a half stone just from not eating bread. 
but there's no bread whatsoever. So other than that, absolutely back to normal. Awesome, that's great to hear it. And I've noticed a few changes in here. You've got yourself a new fruit machine here, a new, new boxer as well. A and new you've... boxer, because the power pack went on the last boxer. Oh so if you saw one of Rick's, we changed the boxer. We've got a couple of, of the old retro machines because we like the retro stuff. You get a lot of the people who are age of 30 and over who tend to come down and like playing the retro machines. The good thing about the retro machines is it's only 10p a go and five p uh, five pound payout, but it doesn't cost you a lot of money. You can have a good game for your money. Instead mm. of going into the big boy machines, excuse me, I'd better go and answer that actually. Oh, it could be. It could be someone that we know. It could be something important. It could be. It could. Be, you never know. Well, yeah, we'll go we and let. I know who it's going to be. <laughs> There's Levi. <laughs> Hello, the arcade. We're open on Saturday and Sundays at the moment. No, I know it's none of our business, but we had just a guest calling then, didn't we, to see when you was open? We genuinely. did. That was somebody who watched <laughs> me on one of the YouTube channels. YouTube is the new uh, medium. Years ago, we all wanted to be on television. Now I've done television myself and stuff like that. But nowadays, if a TV crew comes across and a YouTuber comes across, you'll say, "Go away, TV crew. Don't care who you are. Get the YouTubers down here." That's the forum now. Anyway, more importantly. We need to talk about the crap box. We do. We do. Let's, uh, let's, you go through this, because obviously this was called Leroy's Letters, should we just say R.I.P. to that at the moment. We should do. And before we continue, anything to do with Leroy, we're not aware of anything that's going on. We've had a lot of comments on our channel as well as Rick's regarding Leroy, and we just don't know where he is, we do really we? We don't generally know. don't know. I, me, Pete and Roy, we're getting emails all the time, I've had phone calls, I've had messages, we just don't know. He's literally, his channel went dark, and he just disappeared. Mm. I've tried phoning him, because obviously I've got his mobile number, no, no contact from there, I've tried texting him, we was on a WhatsApp group together, and he just disappeared. So I have absolutely no idea. So we decided to bring Rick on board and we'd see what was happening. Now, Leroy's been gone for over a month now, so we had to make the decision, we have to move on. Mm -hmm. So we got rid of the Leroy Love letter, but because it was such a good part of it, we've decided to change it. So we've got Chris, Roy and Pete. <laughs> yeah. So it's a crab box. Yep. Now, this wasn't designed by us. This was voted for by some of Rick's subscribers. So we actually asked the question. But what we're doing differently on this one is if you've got any uh, letters you want to send to any of the YouTubers in Blackpool, send them to here. Like, for instance, if you want to send to PT Blogs. Vlogs. Vlogs. Sorry about that. Vlogs. Vlogs. <laughs> if you want to send to PT Vlogs. Or any of the other Blackpool YouTubers, just send them here. So we'll either read them out once a week, or if we get a large amount of them, we'll call the vlogger down to actually do them himself. So if you've got any letters for any of the YouTubers around here, we'll be doing them all together. So this will be a hub, so we could all work together. Mm -hmm. They are all friends together. And the address of that will be appearing in the description. In fact, go on we'll then, go on. Go right on. there. Yeah, oh, it's up here. There it is. It's, it's right just there. moved. It's up there. There's the address. And you don't can forget, if you like video. this video, hit this like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit this magic bell just here, it'll give you notifications. For the next video. I'm going to have to download it. some uh, stuff do now. I know, yeah, I'm going to have to do some editing now, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, I'm going to have to do some editing. <laughs> and I'll do the same because we've got, we got another YouTuber here. You video with the YouTubing. So we'll the just YouTuber, get half of him. We won't get him all in. Oh, you got half of him. Yeah, we don't want to see his face. <laughs> He's far too ugly for that. Phantom of the arcade. That's the one, yeah. So also on that YouTuber, if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I will put your bell just there. Not doing it. And on both of you, because you're both pointing the cameras at me, this is the address for the crap box, which is here, 6 to 8 Dale Street, and they'll fill in the rest of the details. Okay. Awesome. Well, Chris, thank you so much. Nice to have a little tour around. And it's literally, for us right now filming, it is literally tomorrow morning when you open, so you better get that slush machine filled up. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Everything today, I just see the slush machines move. Because if, if the guys have come down last year, you'll notice the slush machine was at the back. But because last year was so popular, I've ended up having to put another grill in. Okay. But more importantly, if you bring the camera in here... Now we're getting proper Pete, exclusive now. Me and Peter's happy days are having a bit of a DJ war. Because he keeps playing really loud music over the happy days. So I've now put a 2000 watt amp in there. <laughs> Which I've also got, if I can just find it, I've also got my head mic. 
So when I'm really busy, I'll have my head mic on as well, with the music playing, and so me and Peter could be having a music war over there. So when you walk past, you will hear us, and me and Pete will probably be taking the mickey out of each other. And uh, speaking of hearing you, just, uh, just a lot of people actually don't know where you are, surprisingly. It is, what's the road called? It's Dale Street. Dale Street. And if you're unsure, it's near Central Pier. If you know where Happy Days, the arcade, which is now his rival. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> the Higgins against the Turners. Um, it's just off that road there. Next to, is it Stanley? The Stanley Arms pub. Now, that's the pub at the moment, which is full of scaffolding, because that's reopening in April. And that's going to that's be taken over by the same people who've got the bridge. And what's that other pub called they've got, Rick? I can't remember what it's called. You don't know. He, doesn't, he hasn't come in with much information, has he? They own, a, they own a couple of pubs anyway. They own the bridge on Lizard Road, and they own another one. Can't remember what it's called now, uptown. And they're now taking over the Stanley Arms, which is on the corner of Dale Street and uh, Chapel Street, awesome. which is right next to the old police station, directly opposite Central Pier. Well, Chris, thank you for uh, letting us walk around your arcade and... Uh, Massive shout out to Rick as well, who's currently still recording me as I do this. And you can go over to Rick on his channel, who is doing a lot of coverage of this arcade and updates as well. And by sure, we will be back later in the season, probably with Theo as well. And don't forget, if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.